वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एक्सरसाइज 5.2 नंबर 1 इन ईच ऑफ द टू फिगर्स टू लाइन सेगमेंट्स दैट डू नॉट इंटरसेक्ट आर गिवन कैन यू से दे आर पैरेलल व्हाई टू line segments here you can say number one and number two now here we know parallel lines two lines when two lines do not intersect each other they are called parallel lines and distance between two lines or two line segments is constant or you can say equal Answer one. They do not intersect each other, but distance between these two line segments are not constant. That means not equal. Different. So distance is different. So this is. It is not parallel. It is not parallel. Why? Because distance between two line segments. Distance between two line segments are not equal. The number two here you can say they do not intersect, but distance between two line segments are equal. This is parallel. This is parallel because this is parallel. Because because distance between distance between two line segments two line segments distance between two line segments are equal so number 3 name the parallel line segment in each of the following figures so here Answer one. So parallel line segment. You can say AB is equal to CD or AB parallel CD. This is symbol of parallel. So AB parallel CD then BC parallel AD. So number two answer. E F parallel, E F parallel, G H, G H, and uh, F G. This side F G parallel, E H, E H. Now here answer. You can say I J and J K, J K parallel I L. Here answer M N M N parallel P Q P Q next R Q R Q parallel N O then M R 
parallel PO. As you wish, you can use this is the symbol of line segment. So you can use next yeah x two triangles you can say x t parallel w so x t parallel w u these two now s w parallel t v s w parallel t v now x v parallel s u Next we have here you can say on a cuboid. So here first A B C D from here we you can say A B C D from here A B parallel C D A B parallel C D then A D parallel B C. So one part of our next part from A E A B F E from here A B parallel E F E F A B parallel E F then A E parallel A E parallel B F from here A D H E from here A D parallel E H E H AD parallel EH and AE parallel DH DH next from BC GF BC parallel FG FG BF parallel CG now exercise 5.3 in which of the figures is L a transversal and which figures it is not give reasons now transversal we know transversal is a line that goes across two or more lines one no L is not a transversal you cannot say because no because because L does not intersect does not intersect two or more lines two or more lines Number two, yes, because number two, because why L intersect two lines, we say two or more lines, so yes, because L intersects L, L intersect, intersect two lines. So yes, because L intersects, L means transverse, it intersects, intersects two lines. If we intersect, but their point should be different, at different points. Here you can see different points intersects at different points two points so here l is a transversal and intersecting lines here m also but intersecting point only one so it is not no because because intersecting point intersecting point only one intersecting point number two in the given figure m and n are parallel to each other what are the measures of angles x and y so 
मेड वन वीडियो ऑन ट्रांसबाज इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट सो यू कैन वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी क्लियर रिगार्डिंग ट्रांसबाज यू कैन इजिली सो any sum related to transversal so i made one video transversal please watch that video so here m n n parallel and l is a transversal so here we know this and this angle corresponding angles answer X is equal to seventy degree corresponding angle. You know corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angle. Now x plus y one eighty degree. X plus y one eighty degree. Sum of two angles. Sum of two angles on the same angles on the same side on the same side of transverse is supplementary. So seventy degree plus y is equal to one eighty degree. So therefore, y is equal to one eighty degree minus seventy degree is equal to one hundred. Number two, in the given figure, M and N are parallel to each other. What are the measures of angles X and Y? So I made one video on transversal. If you have any doubt, so you can watch that video, and everything will be clear uh, regarding transverse. You can easily solve any sum related to transverse. So I made one video transverse. Please watch that video. So here, M N N parallel and L is a transverse. So here, we know this and this angle corresponding angles. Answer. X is equal to seventy degree corresponding angle. You know corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angle. Now x plus y one eighty degree. X plus y. 180 degree sum of two angles sum of two angles on the same angles on the same side on the same side of transverse is supplementary So seventy degree plus y is equal to one eighty degree. So therefore, y is equal to one eighty degree minus seventy degree is equal to one hundred. Next, now see in the figure the lines M and O are parallel to each other. So first, find angle one, angle two, angle three, and angle four. So here. Two adjacent angles, one common body, straight line, supplementary. They form, they make linear pair. So angle three, 
एंगल थ्री प्लस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी डिग्री लिनियर पेयर लिनियर पेयर सो एंगल थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी डिग्री माइनस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डिग्री वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी डिग्री ना सिक्सटी एंड फोर फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सेव वाई करिस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स करिस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स आर इक्वल करिस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल करिस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल सो सो इट इज करिस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर देन यू हैव टू वॉच माई डैट वीडियो दैट आई मेड ऑन द on uh, transversal spatial videos only on transversal here yeah, all condition properties formula is here so you can watch to understand this one so angle 4 is equal to 60 degree corresponding angle now we uh, need to find uh, uh, so 3 4 now 1 and 2 so here you can see One and four vertically opposite angles. So vertically opposite angles are equal. So here we can say number one is equal to um, angle one is equal to angle four. That is sixty degree vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle are equal. Vertically opposite angles are also equal. Now. One is equal to sixty degree. Now here alternate interior angles one and two alternate interior angles. Or two is equal to four corresponding angles. So two, four, one corresponding angles. Corresponding angle. so this is all about today please subscribe my channel take care thank you very much